Hi, I'm Dale the In Syndicate. How's it going? Let me know in the comments if you like button. Before we get started here playing more Terraria. On it, of course, we're in the world of chaos. Lots of things happen on this world. Lots of crazy and exciting and wonderful and terrible and terrifying and all sorts of other words, things have happened. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go fight some more bosses, of course. That's what we're doing. Go through the checklist. We've got several of them beaten here in hard mode. Now we've cleared everything for free hard mode. And uh, we're now about 15.3% through the checklist of heart. Next, we've got the aquatic scourge. So we're going to need some seafood, which, you know, sulfurous sand, starfish, starfin. Or wait for it to spawn naturally. So I think these are all things we have, except for maybe this. So we need to go find sulfurous sand. These two items I'm pretty sure we have in storage. So, either way, we're gonna jump over to the ocean pylon. Now, the options are to either wait, wait for it to spawn naturally, to get this sand. So let's, let's see. That's sulfurous sand that we just picked up. Ambush. That's Man. cheating. Ow. We got nine of them. We're gonna need 20. Okay. Let's just... Let's say we just jump over here and then, you know... Dig on down like that. That should more than give us what we need. Yes. Way more than give us what we need. In fact, we also have some coral and starfish. How many did we eat? We have one. Alright. I might be able to just pick up one. There we go. Urchin stingers. Okay. Anyway. Not sure what's up with all this up here. Okay. Ow! What hit me? Just near these trees been corrupted. Okay. What is that? Okay. I'm just kind of want to see what the odds are of that thing spawning in. Naturally. Okay. We're in bad shape right now. Okay. I don't know. I do not know what the odds are of that spawning in. Well, either way, we have everything we need. We just need... Uh... Starfish shark fins. So... Starfish! We have... Plenty of those. Shark fins? We have seven. Is that enough? It is. Barely, but it is enough. Okay. Seafood! Deposit everything back in here. And then let's go with our potions tab here. 
We'll definitely need this. So we're gonna place that up there. All right. Generation. Swiftness. Iron skin. Let's see. Thorns. Um. Summoning. Endurance. Rage. And an apple. That should be plenty, I'm thinking. Alright. Back on over to the ocean pylon. Go ahead and consume all of our oceans. Good luck. Alright, where is it? There it is. Prepare yourself! This is not good. We're not in good shape right now. Ah! Well, you only had a little less than a thousand left. The good news is it didn't consume the seafood. The bad news is that that was really cutting it close. And I feel like We just need a little bit, a little bit extra of boost to get there. Like, tiny, tiny little bit. So I'm gonna grab a couple platinum here. We're gonna go down to the alchemist, not ingredients. We're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here as far as iron skin in front of I think we're gonna grab a few extras of those. Uh alright, that there. Put it here. And actually put 
you there. Uh, a few extras of those. Um, rage. Regeneration. Summoning. Swiftness. Thorns. Wrath. Grab more of those. You know, I forgot we had this weapon here. That might actually be more effective. Okay. Take all of those, so let's throw these guys back in here. And we'll grab an apricot, I guess. I don't know. That should do it. I think this will do it. We just need to go ahead. I want to go ahead and put our gold back in here. There. Okay. Back to the ocean. Here we go. All right. All the potions. Definitely melting this thing a lot faster this time. We all are also ourselves getting melted a bit faster, unfortunately. It's Weathered 
the aquatic scourge. It seems to be raining again. A toxic downpour falls over the wasteland and seas. Okay. Now, this is, I think, our next acid rain tier 2. So this is actually what we're dealing with right now. Okay.
for a grabber. What? Skies begin to clear. There we go. We got all sorts of stuff. We cleared another event. Acid Rain Tier 2. Spawns during the Acid Rain event after the Aquatic Spawn occurs has been defeated. Okay. So. <laughs> That's interesting. So in order to get this guy, I had to sneeze, uh, to spawn, we actually need the acid rain to continue to be going. So we're going to need another acid rain because we didn't see that. First, I want to see if there's anything we have we can craft. Doesn't appear that way, at least. Oh, something visual this. That's not what we're looking for. Thing that we can craft from the materials we have. Interesting, but... Okay. Deposit everything. So... Looking for a caustic tier. I do not currently have one. Now, I think... I do believe 
maybe this guy has one? No, I know one of these characters does have one. Summons all pre-hard mode bosses. <sighs> let's, let's, let's buy that. Maybe it's not you, though. Uh, the... Where is this fella here? I don't think... Let's look in here. So it just needs sulfuric scales, and that's literally it, and it needs to be near water. It's not much to do that. Alright. We're gonna place this in here, for use later.
are these for exactly? Okay. That'll do it. That will do it. What? Okay. You can see where this crazy battle has taken place. Like all these light particles that have gone through the ground. Okay. We, we've not gone down here. I think this might be a weird corruption tube or a crimson tube that is right in the middle of all of this. Yeah, because it's like Oh yeah, this is just weird. Very weird. Anyway. release an irritated aura. Okay. I gotta know. Okay. It's basically like acid grenades. That's cool, but uh, I don't know how actually useful it would be. Like, the effect of it is cool, but I don't think it would truly. Plus one max minion. 
Okay. Okay. Everything else. Except for you. At this point, I feel like the cut list is honestly... <laughs> it's honestly outdated at this point. So everything else... Into storage. And it's almost nighttime. I'm gonna grab this. I wonder if we can use it now. So not all the bosses will spawn, and I'd say like not all of them even from all the mods. We have only the ones from the base game and uh, the ones from, well, we'll see. Let's see what happens. It's, it's officially night now. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> King's line. Already. Oh, there was the Eater of Worlds in there. I think. Yep, it's in there. I have Cthulhu has been defeated. I think we've already taken out Skeletron's arm. <laughs> okay. Was crazy. <laughs> that was serious. Look at our inventory, it's full of junk. Uh, we have like oh, we got a bunch of flat even. Okay. Stuff inside the base. Yeah, that was nuts. That was actually nuts. Okay. That seems like it'd be a really useful way to, uh, honestly, farm gold. wild. That's what that was. Anyway, let's look at our uh, checklist now. Yeah, you see a lot of things over there that we just defeated again. Alright, we've defeated the Kragmaw Mire. We've defeated the Destroyer in a previous video. So that means the Brimstone Elemental is next. And we're gonna need a Hellforge Five Souls of Night, Seven Essence of Havoc, which I think we have, uh, Two Unholy Cores. That I don't know about. And that will create a charred idol. Use a charred idol in the Brimstone Crags for Azurefur. I'm assuming these are hell biomes. So. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna save that for another time. Anyway. 
Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. But of course, remember to turn on the lights and open the door because you can't have sanity without at least a little insanity. I will see you guys next time.